The La Nina weather pattern usually means higher pressure in the west with wind events out of the northwest in the winter. While that can be decent for mountain snow, it usually means a lot of dry, windy days east of the mountains. This pattern is triggered by cooler than average water in the Pacific Ocean along the equator, specifically just the very top part of the ocean known as the sea surface. Measurements there show that cooler waters are now present. So how can the sea surface be cold this year when the global temperature is on pace to be one of the warmest on record. For one, temperature doesn't fluctuate as much from year to year at the equator like it does in the middle latitudes or the poles. So even in an extra hot year globally, the equator is not much warmer than it usually is. The main reason for the cooler water is a process called upwelling. For relatively unknown reasons, the trade winds in the equatorial Pacific strengthen every once in a while. These strong winds blow from east to west across the ocean, causing the depths of the ocean to circulate. That brings cold water from the deeper parts of the ocean up to the top. With cooler water in this part of the ocean, the rising air moves west towards Indonesia, which ultimately promotes dry, sinking air in the western U.S. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News. Get him on Jeopardy. <laughs> He's so smart. Okay, La Nina events have been known to last for up to two years, and right now climatologists are forecasting this La Nina to last at least into spring.